Hello, welcome to Just One Look, and today we can have a look at Sanctum, more particularly the Christmas DLC, which you can find here just under Christmas. So, this is a first person tower defense game. You have different towers which you can upgrade, you also have weapons you can upgrade. Other than that, it's very much line of enemies go down a predefined path and you have to stop them. So as you can see, let's start. We have here different towers we can choose from and weapons. So, so various different guns, you have a slow field, mortar, we have the holo. The holo tower amplifies the force of any shots that pass through it, so that could be quite handy. Oh, Kairos, what's this? So, releases drones. So, it's flying enemies and ground enemies, so you have to make sure you've got something for the air ones. I think I'll just stick with my basic selection here. So we've also got different weapons, so I'm just going to keep the sniper, assault gun and the freeze gun. So we've also got a rocket launcher, a shotgun and a lightning gun. Right, so let's start. So you can see we've got 160 resources to build with. And they've got different costs, different things. So this map's well, different to anything I've played before, in that you can't put, alter their roots at all. You can't force them to go in any particular way. So what happens is they're going to come out and go around, like so. And the same from this side. So I think possibly this area is where I want to concentrate my fire first, and here as well, because they both go past that twice. So this area here is only go past once, so this is the place to concentrate around here I think. So let's go back to normal, so we just got to walk around. So as you can see I can't put any blocks here, first you have to put oops, down a block before you can put a weapon in it, so let's see where are we. So. Just have Gatling guns now, you have to put block down first. And I think it's just here, let's have a look again. I think this is the most walked through spot, so we might be able to put a slow field down on this. Yep, so slow them down. Let's also put some air defences. Oh, this is a fire later. It does air and ground attack. So how much more resources? Okay, let's do the same this side. So a slow field there. Let's put a Gatlin here. So I haven't played this level before. I'm still a couple of levels away from the end of the normal game, as I got rather stuck and sort of forgot about it. And our penetrator here. Fire later rather. So 42 left, so we can get... look. So I go around here. So got those two done. So I think perhaps this one, another Gatling. Can be a bit hard to get your bearings. Right, so that one's that one, that one. So there's the path just here I think. So all these can be upgraded. I find it's most cost-effective to use 
basic ones as much as you can before you start upgrading. Perhaps I'm wrong, but upgrades get very expensive. So we've got 18 resources left. So I think that's probably one more. So they go round. Perhaps they're next to the violator. Right, and I think we're done. So I don't think I can jump on top of these either. You need a teleporter block. Televator. Elevates the player. So I wonder... So I don't really want to use up the space of it there. Let's make do without. So on most of the levels so far, I use the blocks, you can make a channel for them to go down. But as I can't put any blocks to block any paths, there's no point putting them down if I can't put a weapon in it. So, I think we're all ready to go. So let's keep the snipers. So, it showed what... What type of enemies are coming in each way. Let's just check this way. Oh, seems to be doing alright. So these are just the basic. That went better than expected. So you can see in the bottom right, next wave. So we've got some normal ones and tanky ones. So let's go and put one over here, where we did on the last one. Where was it? Next to the fire later, wasn't it? Present blocks. Right, another Gatlin. Let's put another Gatlin here. And another Violator here, I think. What? Didn't press that. Ah, uh, so where have we got to go? That one. Doo -doo -doo. So, Gatlin. Be there. Fire later. Gatlin. So perhaps put a couple of holos here. More Gatlin. Right, there we go. Let's start the next round. This seem to be the start where you have the most trouble. Oh, we've got lots of little ones as well. This one got through. There we go. So get more resources each round. Uh, not sure how much range the 7.9 lot of resources. So look at the map. So they go around. So let's fill in these ones here. They might be able to reach over there as well. Ok, 
Okay. Now I need to try and get my bearings. Okay, you assign this fire later. Actually, let's put Gatlin. Violator here. <laughs> so, block. And we've got enough for a violator. Oh, not quite. That should be enough. Right, next wave. And definitely an assault gun rain uh level this. So I didn't take any notice of what things there were. <laughs> so flying ones at the beginning could definitely be an issue if you haven't got enough stuff. Go away! We're all right, just about. <laughs> oh, that's a bad miss. A tiny bit of damage. Plus two hundred. Present. So any more? Caution. Caution? Why? Hello, the way. Right, that's all the presents. Now, didn't do that fire later over here, did I? So what have we got next? Oh, we got some of the more difficult ones next. So, I think I need to upgrade a weapon and the assault. Oh, shouldn't have done that. I've got enough for the. Upgrade the sniper again. Never mind. So, let's put another violator there. in here. Caution. Well, let's hope for more Santa. I'm not sure what that present actually gave us, but... Okay, so we've done all that. Oops. We got a present. Present Santa. No, oh, no. So what have we done? Gone round. I think they're both the same. Right, let's save that for the next time. Right, let's start. Now the first one's here. You have to hit in that weak spot to take down the shields. So they can actually be hit. Where are they? Damn it. Oops, didn't go in the way. So I need to hit this one over here. Oh no, it's been done. There's one more over here. So I'll take his shield down. Now the guns should be able to damage him, hopefully. There we go. 
definitely need to get up higher. Okay, next round's pretty easy. Let's just upgrade the sniper again, just for those basically. We'll do one more wave. Ah, that one over there I think is be a good spot. some presents. Hmm. Oh, more presents. Oh, we are lucky. Right, so I think they all go around here. Let's just put a couple more. Another fire later. Right, let's have a look at the map. So we've got ah the penetrator, which fires in a straight line and goes through the target. So probably could have done with him being there. But on the other hand, let's put one. Here and here, so we can fire down there. Where is it? Oh yeah, just here. Shh, can we build another one? Not sure. Let's put that this end just in case it needs to be triggered. And penetrator. There we go. So, what have we got? Fairly easy wave. Can I get a televator? Where could I put it? Well, I can always right click and sell them, so. Yeah, that's better. Okay, let's have this wave. Oh, so these need lots of small hits. But you need to hit them repeatedly to get rid of them. So slow firing things like the sniper is actually not a lot of good. So there we go. Oh, what nice hats. Oh, the presents. Oh, so it's the monsters dropping presents. This is quite easy, surprisingly. Did think without being able to funnel them it might be a bit difficult, but Well, let's leave it there any for t anyway for today. So that's Sanctum and the Christmas Carnage at Xmas level. So it's good fun. And I do like this game, I definitely recommend it. You can normally pick it up for uh, perhaps perhaps a couple of quid. Three dollars. It's well worth a play, and I think the sequel is as well. So, bye bye for now, and I'll see you again next time.